When you and I are invited to reflect on the Holy Quran, we are of those who must be able to change our habits and our practices. Sometimes when somebody tells us something that we're not accustomed to, we have done all our lives, we sometimes feel a pain. This pain is good. This pain is healthy. This pain is just like when a woman gives birth to the child. It needs to happen. Afterwards, there is good. Nine months of suffering, then there is childbirth. There are stations in our lives that we need to re-examine and re-look at. Let me give you one example. In some places, and including in this blessed Jama'at, I have seen Mu'mineen recite the ziyara of the Imams in a particular way. In which way, you tell me? Sometimes it is recited whereby we stand to honor and we start the ziyara by reciting and honoring Imam al Hussein alayhi salam first, then the holy eighth Imam, then who? The holy twelfth Imam. Do you agree? You have heard this ziyara? The question that has to be posed here from where did this ziyara come from? Is there a source for it in Islam? Is there a reference for it in Hadith? Is there a marja who said recite this ziyara? You ask me what's wrong with it. I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Why should I only be mentioning 8th Holy Imam? Why? Why should I not mention the rest of the Imams? Why? Now you must tell me. Because Imam Rida is Gharib al Ghuraba. He is alone. Wallah, the four Imams of Baqi are much more alone than the eighth Imam. Do you agree? Wallah, Imam al Hadi and al Askari are much more Gharib than Imam al Rida. And I love Imam al Rida. There is a special thing about his shrine. But why should I only. But Mulana, because we have to turn a bit. Okay, mention the other Imams and turn a bit. You tell me, where did it come from? I ask you the same question. You tell me what's wrong with it. I say, because our youth are being taught that the eighth Imam has a special status over the rest of the Imams. Do you agree? Because the youth are being told, don't mention the other Imams, mention Imam al-Ridha and mention the twelfth Imam. The station of Muharram and Ashura is a station of reform and change. Why should we not recite ziyar of all the Imams? How many seconds extra does it take if I start with Rasulullah and I mention all the 14 Ma'sumin? How many? It's painful. Mulana, somebody said to me, 60 years of my life I've recited this. Who are you to change? I am nobody. But if there is something wrong with what I am saying, I would like someone to come and tell me, Marja X, Hadith Y, says recite this ziyara. Or convince me intellectually that this is acceptable. We are taught to remember all the Ahl al-Bayt. The status of all the Imams except Amir al muminin is the same. I cannot hold and say, for example, Imam alayhi salam, the third holy Imam, Sayyid al-Shuhada, has a higher status than the ninth Imam. I cannot. Can I say that? Who am I to say that? Therefore, we want our youngsters to remember all the Imams. We want our youngsters to beautify and fragrance their mouth with all the Imams. If I hear this ziyara being recited, I should not be silent about it. I should go with calm advice and say to the person reciting, if I am able to do so. Or speak to the elders until eventually we recite a ziyara where all the Imams are mentioned.